Good evening. I am high school principal Mark Smithberger, and welcome to Senior Salute. Before I get started with my opening remarks, let's give another round of applause to our senior singers this evening. What a great job. We always joke with the seniors, this is the only time we ever invite you to school and give you money on the way out. So for us, this is a really exciting night because we're recognizing, quite honestly, our best and our brightest, our most well-rounded students, and a chance for us to as a, a school and as a community to, to, to really say, great job, and we believe in you. Uh, and students, that, that is, I think, the important part tonight. This chance to get some money from our community and scholarships is really saying, we believe in you. We're buying into who you are and what you do. And you've done a great job throughout high school of, of building that credibility, of being great students and great citizens, and being involved in a, a myriad of activities. And you built that resume that we as a community trust you so much, we will give you money. And we believe in you. So your homework assignment is you have to reward that trust. You have to do the right thing, and we're proud of you. So guys, let's give our students a round of applause for all their hard work. <laughs> On behalf of the school district, I want to make sure we recognize some people that, that made this evening uh, possible. Um, Doing the lion's share of the work planning this is Miss Bethany Hassong over there waving at us. Good job, Miss Hassong. <laughs> Joining us this evening, school board president Carl Naso. <laughs> board member, retired Colonel Duke Evans. Assistant Superintendent Jennifer Pelko. And Senior Class Principal Stephen Breckner. I want to shift our attention to the community. Students, we have an unbelievable community here that is generous. They are generous with their time and their money. And we have great role models because you guys out here this evening are pillars in your community and you provide service to the community. One of the greatest ways to show your character is how you serve and work in your community around you. So we, we thank you and students and applaud our community for all their efforts they put in. And you guys, we can say thank you and we, we mean it from the bottom of our hearts, but I don't, I'm not sure when we look at other schools we know how lucky we really are. 
Last year I did some research about how much our local scholarships net versus other school districts. And I looked at all the other suburban areas and we, we talk as principals. This community gives the most in local scholarships away of any community I could find. And that, that is a testament to who we are as a community and how we care about one another and we pull together and how we believe in education. Tonight, we're gonna to give away over $120,000 to these students on stage. And once again, from the bottom of our hearts, on behalf of the school district, thank you. Um, we, we can't say thank you enough, so we really appreciate it. Uh, I need to say thank you to the scholarship committee. Uh, it's made up of, of school members, community members. We, we get together, um, we do a, a a blind scholarship uh, application process. All names are removed, so it, it's hopefully as, as unbiased and as fair as humanly possible. And, and we follow the criteria that you guys as a community set forth for the scholarships as we assign those to, to the winners. And certainly the scholarships are unique and as varied as our students on the stage are. So sometimes GPA isn't the reason if someone wins. It's because they're involved in a ton of things or, or they went to a certain elementary school. So that makes me really proud as a principal to recognize such a diverse group of students. So we really appreciate that as well. But the committee does a great job every year of, of showing up, working to get to the right students. Let's give the committee a round of applause. <laughs> and my final thank you, and it's, it's by no means the, the least important, which is my, my last one tonight, is to the parents. Students, we talk about this at award ceremonies on a regular basis of your parents have been with you every step of the way. I was talking to a parent earlier today, and they said, this is my child's 13th year at school. And that's true, and that's probably all your 13th years at school. So that's not a unique statement, because you're all seniors, I hope. <laughs> for giving you money. <laughs> but they've been with you since they changed your diapers, since they helped you learn to walk, learn to ride a bike, that first bus ride to school, whether it was kindergarten or first grade. They went to the, the art show when you were in fourth grade. All those things are milestones for them as well. And Right now, your parents are sitting here tonight and they're bittersweet. They're excited for where you are and they are proud of you. And they put a, a lifetime worth of work into you, literally a lifetime's worth of work into you guys to make you the young people you are. And you made them proud. But they're also sad because you're about to go out into the real world and, and be your own person, your own adult. So tonight, thank your parents. Thank them in a sincere way. We're on a platform, so let's go home and actually thank them. They have sacrificed so much to allow you to be where you are tonight, and they deserve a sincere thank you and a hug. And I don't care how old you are, they will appreciate a hug and a kiss because they're your parents and they love you more than anything else in the world. So give your parents a round of applause. <laughs> and students, once again, we are proud of you. I'm gonna get the evening started by introducing our first speakers, and we'll have bios about our students throughout the night and what makes them so spectacular. Once again, guys, thank you for being here. We're proud of you. Our first scholarship presenters are Darlene Ferris and Brian Jungerberg from the Strongsville Education Foundation. Good evening. I'm Brian Jungerberg. I'm the current president of the Education Foundation. And uh, for those of you that may not know the Education Foundation, it was established in 1984 with the initial focus of soliciting and awarding scholarship funds. Uh, as scholarships became more available, uh, we were able to broaden our focus and we're now dedicated to raise and distribute funds to support and foster creativity, innovation, and outstanding achievement for the students, teachers, and communities served by the Strongsville City Schools through grants. To date, we've been able to give away more than $163,000 in grants to fund such classroom programs as the Global Learning Project, Space Day, Science to Go, the Art Ambassador Program and Health Testing for Students. The, f the foundation also provided initial funding for AmesWeb and foundations, which have become um, extremely useful assessment and progress monitoring tools within the district. And our latest campaign has transferred from uh, a more tech-based platform for Chromebooks, which the district has, has now achieved, to the creation of makerspace rooms in each of the schools throughout the district. Uh, makerspace is a very unique room to learn and develop through building and doing things with your hands to create. 
So the goal now is to be able to put one of those in each one of the schools, and we are well on our way to doing that and very proud of that. Um, the other thing that we're bringing back are school, are school field trips for each grade level, K through eight, something that we haven't seen in the district in a while. So we're, we're excited to see that roll out next year. And we couldn't do that with all, the, out, all of the community support through our various events and activities. And we are also been entrusted to um, uh, give out scholarships through many endowed scholarships, uh, several of which we're going to give out tonight. So there's my little plug on the foundation. And <clears throat> the first three scholarships we're going to administer tonight are for $1,000 each from the Strongsville Education Foundation. We have two recipients who aren't here tonight, Bridget Hayes and Sean Fitzgerald. But we have our third, who is here, Zach Delisio. The second scholarship is the Brooke Bossman Memorial Scholarship. Uh, Brooke Bossman was an outstanding young athlete who passed away during her uh, senior year at Strunzel High School in 2001. She was an outstanding young woman with a heart of gold. She possessed a competitive spirit that very few student athletes could hope to achieve. Brooke demonstrated respect for her opponents and displayed positive sportsmanship at each and every match. Respect all, fear no one, and it was how she played and represented Strunzel Volleyball. The student selected is a person who represents what Brooke stood for. Good sportsmanship, competitive drive, play with no fear, and a heart of gold. This year receiving the Brooke Bossman $400 scholarship is Cameron Davis. The David McDowell Memorial Scholarship. David was a member of the class of 1982 who tragically was killed in an automobile accident prior to his graduation. His parents created an endowment in his name to guarantee a scholarship for a graduating senior each year. This $500 scholarship goes to James Keating. George Setterfield Memorial Scholarship. Mr. Setterfield was a Strongsel graduate who established this endowment on his death in 1998. He often remarked it was Strongsel schools that made it possible for him to succeed in life. He wished to give something back to the district and his students. The scholarship of $1,000 goes to Lucia Moffat. Ryan Cleveland Memorial Scholarship. Ryan was a member of the 1993 class who was killed in a motorcycle accident following his graduation. His parents established this endowment to remember Ryan and his career in the field of engineering. This $500 scholarship goes to Rohan Sinha. Sylvester R. Zellers Memorial Scholarship. Sylvester Chief Zellers was a coach, teacher, principal, and superintendent in the Stronzel Schools from 1937 through 1967. His wife, Helen, established this memorial scholarship when she died in the early 90s to keep the chief's name alive in the district he loved so much. This year, the $1,000 scholarship goes to Hannah Moskowitz. Samantha Archer Memorial Scholarship is a scholarship fund that was established by the Archer family following Samantha's death in a car accident the summer after she graduated from Stronzel High School in 2008. She planned to start nursing school that fall, and the scholarship is awarded to a Stronzel graduate planning a career 
in the nursing. Over $30,000 has been distributed between 13 different students since 2009. The scholarship provides $2,500 per year for up to three years after the school, the student has begun their nursing clinical rotations. This year's recipient was Abigail, excuse me, Abigail Novak, a 2016 high school graduate now in the nursing program at Ohio State University. If anyone here decides on a future in nursing, please keep this scholarship in mind and contact the Strongsville Education Foundation next spring for an application. The application is usually posted on our website in early March. The Matthew Gritty Memorial Scholarship. The next scholarship is being awarded to a student who has shown empathy for students with special needs, whether in her volunteer work as a coach for the Strongsville Special Olympics team or in her daily work with students in Strongsville High School's special education classroom. Olivia has demonstrated affinity for others and recognition that as a community of human beings, our greatest calling is to extend help to one another. We are proud to present the $500 Matthew J. Gritty Memorial Scholarship to Olivia Borovich. Thank you again and good luck to seniors. Testing, testing. <clears throat> Good evening. My name is Carol Matz. The next scholarship is a music scholarship. It was created by myself, a Strongsville alum, many years ago. I have dedicated my life career to music education. This scholarship was founded to provide financial assistance to a student in recognition of high motivation and excellence in music. Now, of all the years I've been doing this, I don't think I've ever had a student that is as high a GPA as my scholarship recipient is this evening. Preference for my scholarship is expressed for a student pursuing a career in music education. The recipient of this scholarship participated in many, many things. I don't know how this recipient, I almost want to say he or she, but I shouldn't do that, you know. So the recipient of the scholarship participated in amazing number of activities in and out of school. I don't know where he had time. <laughs> I really don't. To just name a few of his activities in school, there are about 12 listed, 12. School activities like chamber string, uh, strings for four years, marching band for four years, rhythmology for two years, National Honor Society for two years, National German Honor Society for another two years, Greater Cleveland Solo and Ensemble Contest, not contest, ensemble, three years, and finally OMEA, which is Ohio Music Educators, Solo and Ensemble. I don't know where he had the time, and he also, he had, whoops, I said something. And, <laughs> and also this person had leadership positions in many of these groups. By that I mean he was the conductor, the, the uh, president, or so, or so forth. <clears throat> we cannot forget though, he also had non-school activities. I'll name just a few. All State Orchestra, that'll give you a clue. All State Orchestra, Northeast Regional Orchestra, BW Youth Orchestra, Contemporary Youth Orchestra, and many, many more. All required time, not during the school day. These are things that were on Saturdays and Sundays. And being a teacher, I used to see our students and when I was teaching. Saturdays were filled with either lessons or competition throughout the state. He also had time, it's amazing, to volunteer and participate in community groups. At this time, I asked Nick 
Simo to come forward. To pursue, I understand that you plan to attend Baldwin Wallace, right? And study music education. And your plan is to pursue even a doctorate in the field. Now, I am a conservatory graduate and I, from BW, and I know today that there are many opportunities for a career in the music field. Congratulations, Nick. I am so pleased you chose my ball and boss, okay? <laughs> oh, this is, um, this is a student that had a GPA of 4.64. Isn't that amazing? And do all these things, that is just amazing to me. Okay, congratulations. <laughs> We are here tonight to present the Richard A. Perez Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship was established in memory of our father and uncle and his years of involvement with Strongsville Sports through coaching and mentoring. The recipient of the scholarship is chosen based on excellence in academics, athletics, and a strong involvement within the community. This year's recipient is a member of the National Honor Society and is the captain of both the cross country and swim team. He is a DARE role model, a member of DECA, and is the student council class president. Tonight, we are proud and honored to present the Richard A. Perez Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $1,000 to Jarrett Raymer. I'm Pat Grobel, president of Strongsville Women's League. The Strongsville Women's League is comprised of women dedicated to volunteer service, leadership, fundraising, and friendship. Our mission is to undertake projects and provide funding for services that enrich our community and enhance the quality of life for residents of all ages. Each year, we award two scholarships to young women whose achievements both in and outside of school show an awareness of the importance of community service. I'm honored here to be I'm honored to be here tonight to present two such young women, each with a $1,000 scholarship. As I call your name, please come forward and accept your award. Our scholarship recipients this year are involved in school and community organizations while also being academically high achievers. They have participated in a variety of academic clubs, honor societies, sports teams, and music-related activities. Both have held leadership positions within the organizations in which they are members. In addition to all of this, they find time to volunteer in their community, participating in activities such as food pantries, tutoring programs, DARE, and other community events. Our first scholarship goes to Grace Mutti. Grace. Grace is on the staff of the Lantern, where she serves as secretary. She was on the track team, a member of Key Club, Spanish Honor Society, National Honor Society, and Ro Kappa. She has volunteered at the New Life Wesleyan Food Pantry, and as well as volunteering for various tutoring programs in the school district. Grace plans to get her bachelor's degree in creative writing and her master's in education. Our second scholarship recipient, excuse me, is Sydney Van Hope. Sid <laughs> Sydney is a member of the National Honor Society, has served as the librarian for the Strongsville Symphony Orchestra and Chamber Strings for two years, played te tennis, track, and field, belonged to the French Club, and volunteered for numerous organizations and events. 
such as the Chapman Scholastic Book Fair and DARE. Sydney plans to attend Kent State University and get a degree in American Sign Language English Interpreting. We wish you both much success and happiness during your college years and beyond, and we hope volunteerism will be, continue to be an important part of your future. Thank you. My name is Julia Williams, and on behalf of the Strongsville Education Association, I will be presenting two awards this evening. The first one goes to Lindsay Gonlar. Lindsay is a senior here at Strongsville High School, and she plans on attending the University of Mount Union. This year, runner of the SEA Membership Scholarship is Lindsay. While participating in many other activities over the past four years, Lindsay has been an active four-year member of track and field and show choir. Lindsay has held the position of dance captain for show choir during the last two years. Throughout track season, she has earned several recognition, recognitions including being named a 2015 state track meet qualifier and a three-year conference scholar athlete. On behalf of the Strongsville Education Association, we are happy to award Lindsay, daughter of Deanna Gunlaw from Strongsville Middle School, a $1,000 scholarship for the 2017-18 school year. Our second uh, scholarship goes to Justina Cooper. <laughs> Justina will be attending the University of Cincinnati and plans to major in biology science. Throughout all four years of high school, Justina has been a letter winner in tennis and a key club member. During her high school years, she was able to balance academics various activities, and many service hours. Justina is this year's recipient of the $750 Strongsville High School Guidance Department Scholarship funded by the SCA Strongsville Education Association. Congratulations. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Laura Halsam, and I'm the current president of the Strongsville Council PTA. My partner here with me tonight is Carrie Dewis, and she is our president-elect for the next school year. It is our pleasure to present the next 11 scholarships. Our first eight will be presented by Strongsville Council PTA. If you could hold your applause until we get to the end of those eight, I would appreciate it. Our first scholarship tonight is presented to Amelia Elmadi. Amelia is interested in studying chemistry and eventually pursuing pre-med. Since the second grade, she has known she would like to pursue a career as an orthopedic surgeon. She has been a member of the orchestra for eight years. She is a key club member, a volunteer at the food bank, and a member of Rho Kappa, and much, much more. Congratulations. Next we have, you know, Amelia, if you don't mind, if you could stay at stand up with the other, the other seven. Thank you. That way we can all clap for all of you at the same time. Next we have Michael Bagani. Michael plans to attend Pennsylvania State University, where he will study rail transporta transportation engineering. Michael has been an active member of marching band, where he, has, where he was a squad leader, and he has been a member of the high school swim team. A few of his clubs and organizations are Rho Kappa, Dare Role Model, Mu Ala Theta, and Math Club. He also has been a member of Boy Scouts for eight years. Congratulations, Michael. Our next scholarship is being awarded to Kyle Persuti. Kyle will be pursuing a career in music education and trumpet performance in the fall. Kyle has a passion for music, which shows in his school activities, which consist of solo and ensemble contest, jazz band, pit orchestra, and show choir band. He also participates in Spanish Honor Society, Spanish Club, Key Club, and National Honor Society. Congratulations. Next, I am honored to present to Diane Trepke. Diane will be attending Kent State University in the fall to study architecture. She hopes to someday design residential buildings, including her own home. Diane has been a member of marching band where she has held section leader and squad leader for two years each. 
She has also been a DARE role model, a member of Key Club, and Boo Ala Theta, and much more. Congratulations. Our next scholarship is being awarded to Sydney Velasky. Sydney plans to attend Kent State University in the fall, where she will pursue earning her Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Sydney has been in both the Stromsville High School Freshman and Symphony, Symphony Orchestras. She has been in the Leadership Academy, UNICEF, Girls Learn International, where she was co-president for two years. She has also been a member of Key Club, French Club, Health Club, National Honor Society, and much, much more. Congratulations, Sydney. Next, we would like to present to Noelle Zernack. Noelle will be attending the University of Cincinnati, where she will study engineering. Noelle is a member of National Honor Society and has played softball her entire high school career and served her team as captain for a year. Noelle has also been a member of the Mu Alpha Theta, French Club, Key Club, Optimus Club, and has been a DARE role model. She has also played in the marching band for two years. Congratulations. Our next recipient is Matthew Greaves. Matthew will be studying engineering and business in the fall. He has been inspired by his uncle, who is an engineer for GM, where he gets to work on Corvettes. <laughs> Matthew has spent four years playing basketball for the Mustangs and three years playing football and participating in track and field. He has also played in the marching band all four years and held the section leader position. He is also a member of Rho Kappa and National Honor Society. Congratulations, Matthew. And our final eighth person we would like to honor is Michael Meany. Michael will be attending Cleveland State in the fall where he will study computer science. He has already been accepted into the Cleveland State College of Engineering where his goal is to pursue a career in app development. Michael has been a member of Mu Alpha Theta, Ski Club, Marching Band, Jazz Band, Symphonic Band, and Concert Band. Congratulations, Michael. And congratulations to all eight of you. Our next two scholarships are also being presented by Strongsville Council PTA, but they were selected by a special committee called the PBIS. Positive Behavior Committee. Our first honoree would be Sydney Van Hove. <laughs> Sydney plans to attend Kent State University, where she will pursue a career as an English interpreter. Sydney would like to contribute to the deaf and hearing community by providing clear communication and understanding. She has participated in orchestra, chamber strings, National Honor Society, ASL Club, and she has also been a DARE role model and much, much more. I can't even name all of it. So congratulations, Sydney. Our second PBIS scholarship winner would be awarded to Olivia Borovich. <laughs> Olivia plans to attend Duquesne University where she will pursue her doctorate for occupational therapy. Through school, Olivia has been a peer mentor, a member of Key Club, National Honor Society, Student Council, a DARE role model, a member of Mu Alpha, and much more. Outside of school, Olivia has volunteered with Special Olympics and other congr organizations. Congratulations. <laughs> and finally, on behalf of Drake Elementary School PTA, it is my honor to award their scholarship to Alyssa Reinhardt. <laughs> Alyssa. Alyssa is planning on attending Bowling Green in the fall to study environmental science. She has been our drum major this past year, as well as a squad leader in the marching band. She has also been the vice president of the UNICEF club. Congratulations, Alyssa. Thank you. Hello, my name is Nikki Freeman, and it's my honor as Chapman PTA President to present this year's Chapman Elementary Scholarship Award. This recipient has presented strong ded dedication to her academic career while being involved with multiple activities in and out of school, including National Honor Society, DARE, The Lantern, Orchestra, and French Club. She has a love of dance and was on Dance Dimensions Performing Dance Company for nine years. I would like to present the award to Sarah Polacco. Good evening, 
My name is Stacy Hershkovitz, and I am the president of the Moransky Elementary PTA. It is my honor to present our scholarship in the amount of $500 to Megan Pedersen. During her time here at the high school, Megan was involved in National Honor Society, Mu Alpha Theta, Key Club, Spanish Club, plus was a DARE role model. In addition, she was a member of the swim team and qualified for the state swim meet. She volunteers her time outside of school, coaching for Swim Strong and helping with the Special Olympics. Megan plans to attend The Ohio State University and ma major in mathematics. She would eventually like to pursue her master's degree. On behalf of Moraski PTA, we congratulate you, Megan, and wish you the very best. Good evening. Despite what it says in the program, I am not Lillian Longley. I am Judy Nitchie. I am representing the Kinsner PTA, and we would like to present our scholarship to Rubab Syed. I haven't seen you in so long. <laughs> Uh, Rubab is the uh, founder and president of UNICEF here in Strongsville and the National Student Leadership Symposium representative for three years, National Art Honor Society treasurer, key club secretary, uh, National Art Society key club Mustang mentors, student council, National Honor Society, on and on and on. Anyway, we would like to present this $500 scholarship to you. Advisor, I'm here representing the Moraski Elementary Student Council. This year, I'm happy to announce that the recipient of a $500 scholarship award goes to Leah Marco. <laughs> Ms. Marco is an active leader involved in balancing her academics along with her involvement in softball, cross country, band, student council, and several additional school clubs. Leah is involved in school activities while also balancing a part time job. We are very proud to support you in your next step in life. On behalf of Moraski, we wish you all the best in your future at Arizona State University. Congratulations. It is my honor as the first mister of the Sarar PTA to award the $500 Sarar PTA scholarship to my fellow Roadrunner alum, Rachel Dorakak. Rachel has been involved as a DARE role model, is a um, volunteer with Youth Challenge and Girl Scouts, and will be attending the University of the Ohio State University at Newark to major in psychology and hope to be certified in child, as a child life specialist. Best of luck to you, Rachel. Swiger. We co-president the uh, PTA organization at the Whitney Elementary School and we would like to present Amanda Myers the $500 uh, scholarship that we give out every year. She is a former Whitney uh, elementary student. During her time at Strongsville High School Amanda was involved in basketball, swimming, the Honors Math Club which is the Mu Alpha Theta, Spanish Club and the Yearbook Club. Outside of school, Amanda was active as a junior coach and assistant coach for swim, uh, the summer swim team. She also volunteered at her church. She plans to attend the University of Toledo and major in exercise uh, science and pursue a degree in athletic training. And on behalf of Whitney Elementary PTA, we wish you the best. Good luck. You're really well. Good evening, I'm Vicki Maloney. I'm the president of Strongsville Middle School PTA. I'm honored here to be here tonight to present the first ever Strongsville Middle School PTA $500 scholarship. As you know, we combine Center and Albion. And, um, our recipient has attended one of those two uh, middle schools. Um, she is involved in her community and school and also a very high academic achiever. 
She has participated in a variety of academic clubs and honor societies like National Honor Society, Mu Alpha Theta, Rho Kappa, Student Council, Key Club, Leadership Academy, Model United Nations, Math Club, and Spanish Club. She's not only been a member of these groups, but has also held numerous leadership positions in them. She's also been the captain of the volleyball team for two years. In addition to all of this, she finds time to volunteer in our community through organizations like Team Strongsville, DARE, Relay for Life, and the Strongsville Food Bank, just to name a few. The first ever Strongsville Middle School PTA scholarship goes to Taylor Bazinski. Taylor plans to study pharmacy at The Ohio State University. Congratulations, Taylor. Good evening. My name is Karen Repholz, and I'm the president of the Strongsville High School PTA. It is my honor to recognize two outstanding seniors with scholarships this year. They are Jared Anderson and Joey Stewart. first. Jared, just give him a wave. <laughs> During his time at Strongsville High School, Jared was on the soccer team for four years and was selected to be the captain of the varsity team his senior year when he led his team to a 12-4 and 3 season and to the district finals. He was also on the football team for four years. In addition to sports, Jared was involved with the Leadership Academy, a member of the National Honor Society, and a DARE role model. In the fall, Jared will be attending The Ohio State University, where he will be studying business and where he will also be playing intercollegiate soccer for the Buckeyes. Congratulations, Jared. Our second recipient is Joey Stewart. Give him a wave, Joey. <laughs> Joey was involved in numerous school activities in Strongsville High School, including the National Honor Society, Rho Kappa, and Mu Alpha Theta. He also had held leadership positions in four of his many school activities, including DARE role models, social skills mentor, Mustang mentor, and project support. Outside of SHS, Joey was also very busy. He was a Strongsville Stallions baseball player for four years and extremely active and successful with the Strongsville School of Rock. In addition, Joey volunteered uh, with the Special Olympics for four years. Joey will also be attending The Ohio State University in the fall where he will be studying business. Congratulations, Joey. And I just wanted to say congratulations to both Jared and Joey. We know that the future holds wonderful things for these two very hardworking gentlemen. Best of luck to both of you. Hi, I am Tara Bruski, Guidance Counselor here at the high school, and I will be presenting the Strongsville High School Yearbook Scholarship. Um, the first award goes to Emily Carr for the amount of $1,500. And the second goes to Cameron Kassler in the amount of $1,000. Teresa Karsnack, and I'm honored to be presenting the SEAC Scholarship tonight. The Stephanie Schultz Scholarship is given every year in honor of a student who passed away when she was in seventh grade. Stephanie had many challenges in her life and always met them with determination, persistence, and courage. The Stephanie Schultz Scholarship is being offered to the following students who have also shown these same outstanding qualities. The first one is Jake, Jacob Safranic. Sir, 
Jacob has been accepted at The Ohio University where he will attend this fall and major in engineering. Next, we have Rachel Dorkak. Rachel will be attending the Ohio State University Newark campus to pursue a degree in psychology and a career as a child life specialist. Next, we have Lindsay Goldsmith. Lindsay plans to attend Sullivan University and expand her talents in the field of baking and culinary arts. Jalen Mancuso. Jalen will be furthering her love of dance and cosmetology after graduation. She will continue to teach dance as well as pursue her career as a stylist. <laughs> Next we have Serena McGregor. Serena will continue her love of learning by exploring her career options and taking computer courses. And finally, we have Gabrielle Shrimp. She has been accepted by both Avita Institute and Paul Mitchell and plans to earn her licensure in cosmetology. Congratulations to all the winners. Thank you. Good evening, my name is Georgian Ignacio and I'm the treasurer for the school district. At this time, I'd like to present the Ohio Association of School Business Officials, OASBO $500 scholarship, which is sponsored by RBC Capital Markets. The recipient of this scholarship carries a 4.82 GPA and is ranked second in her class at Strongsville High School. The recipient was a cheerleader for four years and has participated in volleyball, National Honor Society, Roy, Ro Kappa, Moy Alpha, Theta Honor Society, Model UN, Key Club, and the Math Club. While participating in Model UN, she served as the treasurer for two years. In addition to her school activities, she has 95 volunteer hours within the following organizations. Falling Waters Retirement Home, Team Strongsville, National Honor Society, and Roy Kappa. I am pleased to announce the recipient of the OASBO Scholarship as she will continue her education and major in biochemistry, Sydney Cornelius. Good evening, my name is Jim Keating and I'm the Vice President of the Strongville High School Athletic Booster Club. Uh, we are proud to present the very first annual scholarship named after our longtime former booster president, Donna Caputa. It is my honor to present our scholarship for $500 to a person who demonstrated leadership attributes, high academic results, and played multiple sports during their high school career. This year's winner is a person I've known for many years and he comes from a great family. I watched him play on many teams with my two sons over the years. He played multiple sports in grade school from football, basketball, baseball, and even swimming. I saw him recognized for his academic achievements at his days at Kinsner Elementary and knew he was a leader at that early age. During his middle school days at Center, he played basketball and football as he helped his football team to an undefeated season in his eighth grade year. During his time at Strongsville High School, he was involved in Leadership Academy, National Honor Society, was a dare role model, Mustang Mentor, volunteered for Team Strongsville and for the Special Olympics. He was a varsity athlete in basketball and football, and he was selected by his teammates to be the team captain for both teams his senior year. His GPA is a 4.68. His class rank is number 10 for, uh, with over 500 students. He plans to attend the Ohio State University and major in finance and economics. On our behalf at Strongsville High School Athletic Booster Club, we'd like to congratulate Garrett Diabato, earning his first Donna Caputa, Strong Drive, Booster Club Scholarship, and wish Garrett the very best for winning the time. I'm Walter Ehrenfeldt. This is Rich Balden. We are here uh, on behalf of the Strongsville Chamber of Commerce 
and we're going to be awarding, uh, as we do every year, $22,000 scholarships um, to 20 recipients. And I'm, I'm not sure how to do this, but I think the best way is I'm just going to call your names, ask you to come up and stand until we can give you a round of applause at the end and ask that you hold applause till the end. I'll go through the names. Um, we won't have time to go through a lot of their achievements, but these are very high achievers and you'll have to talk to them individually to get their, <laughs> their personal information. So let's begin. Uh, the first is Danielle Abdallah. Some will be here, some won't. Uh, there's another disclaimer I have to put into this. Um, we have certificates here. Everyone is supposed to receive a certificate, but I realized I left some of the certificates in my office. But these are real scholarships. This, <laughs> you're going to get the money. Uh, next, Megan Bowman. It's OK if you want to clap. It's all right. That rule, I, we'll let it go. Joseph Clark. Kathleen Doyle. <laughs> Julia Faust. Sarah Gerard. Hallie Goss. Justina Krupa. CJ Lent. Leah Marco. Just so everyone knows, we had a, um, a luncheon this afternoon where we awarded these scholarships. So um, the, the people who aren't here were all there. So just so you don't think that there's a lack of interest. Uh, Margaret Milbrandt. Peter Mocho. <laughs> Liliana Neal. Jarrett Reimer. <clears throat> Diana Ridgeway. Jack Scrant. <laughs> Mia Stanfer. <laughs> Mary Strempel.
Ryan Venter. And Carol Ann Zellis. Just one plug. Uh, these scholarships are all funded by the proceeds of the scholarship dance that the Chamber of Commerce has uh, the first Friday in, of every December. So to keep the legacy going, hope to see you all there. And one more round of applause for everyone. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Steve Siniscali, and I'm joined by Ron Schroth, uh, two-thirds of our uh, scholarship committee with the Strongsville Optimist Club. Joe Fragapane couldn't join us tonight. Uh, and I just want to take a, a moment to, again, congratulate everybody out here tonight uh, for all the work and support that you've provided, family, friends, etc., uh, to see the achievements of these fine folks up here. So give yourself another round of applause. Well deserved. I have a few comments uh, that I, I could talk about the Strongsville Optimist Club, and, and one thing I will say about the club is that uh, our fundraising activities over the last year or two have been uh, exceptionally improved to the point where normally we offer eight scholarships of $1,250 each. This year we're able to offer 10, so we're very proud about that uh, and happy to recognize even more folks uh, for their accomplishments. Um, I wanted, and so, you know, I'm, we're going to bring our folks up and, and, as Walter did, ask everybody to uh, stay up here until we call everyone's name. Uh, yeah, but I wanted to make a few comments and, and add a challenge to Principal Smithberger's challenge to you earlier tonight to take full advantage of uh, the opportunities provided to you tonight on 25,000 ways that uh, we've hopefully made your life easier in terms of acquiring your education. Uh, you know, this education philosophy or philanthropy is, is really a part of our culture. It's steeped. It's what makes America, America. But just to give you a few statistics, and I'm going to give you one that's interesting, and so I'm going to raise the bar for all of you tonight. I think you've all heard of John D. Rockefeller. He spent a few of his younger years here in Strongsville. Uh, and part of his foundation, one of the things that they did is they uh, identified individuals in different fields, science, math, education, uh, and so on. One of the sets that uh, struck out to me very, very strongly. And again, I'll offer us out to all of you to see if you can jump this bar. 47 Nobel Science Prize winners received significant financial contributions from his foundation. But that was before they earned their rewards. So you can see the impact of what happened with this type of philanthropy. Uh, and it's a wonderful thing that, this, uh, that, that we do here in, in, in our country and certainly in our neighborhoods. And as you heard from Principal Smithberger, just right here in Strongsville, it's as good as any. Uh, and the millions of dollars of scholarship you've earned on top of this as well. So uh, I want to congratulate all of you, but I want to add to that last challenge to pay it forward. So once you've gone out, gotten your educations, made your mark in the world, I want you to remember tonight the 125,000 reasons that you're here tonight. And I want you to raise that bar and do the same thing for the generation behind you. That's the last challenge I'll give you. Our first winner tonight uh, is, is not with us, uh, but he attends Holy Name High School, but he is a Strongsville resident. His name's Sean Fitzpatrick. You saw his picture earlier. Uh, hopefully the rest of you uh, may be here tonight, so I'll go through the rest of the names. Uh, we'll start with uh, Kritika Sundaram. Kritika. <laughs> Samantha Stalnicki. Alexandra Bischoff. <laughs> Diana Ridgway. <laughs> Justina Krupa. Julia Faust. <laughs> Holly Keating.
Kathleen Waite. And we have one more scholarship. I'm going to turn it over to uh, Ron Schroth to present. Thank you. Good evening. The last scholarship that we'll award tonight is the Bill Helms Memorial Scholarship. This student was also measured by the Optimus Club's same requirements of academics and character, but with a con concentrated focus on community involvement and citizenship as well. Bill Helms was a man loved and respected by many here in Strongsville and was well known for having a successful label printing business in our city. Bill and his wife Ethel had raised four children and their families were here for over 50 years. He had a positive impact on a vast number of Strongsville citizens with his dedicated involvement over those five decades. Bill's accomplishments to help his Strongsville community are long and distinguished and he received numerous civic awards for his work. Mr. Helms was a charter member forming the West Suburban Optimist Club way back in 1955. Later he formed our own Strongsville Optimist Club. Over the decades that followed, Bill held several board positions and the offices of President, District Chairman, Lieutenant Governor, Governor for Ohio, and was the Optimist Club International Vice President. Bill was a trustee in the Strongsville Youth Center and a trustee of Ohio Boys Town. He was active in the Strongsville Drug Action Committee and through his efforts helped pass the bond issue for our for former library. We lost both Bill and Ethel over the last nine years, but the framework of caring that they built lives on. So we congratulate this year's award winner, a young adult who already has expressed outstanding citizenship and community responsibility that we know will continue well into the future. Hannah Gall, please step forward. Your family must be very proud of your accomplishments. Good evening. My name's Cindy Baldwin. I'm the president of the Arts in Strongsville. We're a community organization that works to en enrich the lives of all Strongsville residents through the promotion and preservation of the arts. We feel there is no better way to support the arts than to award three $1,000 scholarships to three deserving Strongsville high school seniors that have a strong background in the arts. Amy McEntee, our Vice President and Scholarship Chairman, will announce the three recipients for the scholarships. Yeah, you need those. I need these. Okay. All right. Our first Arts and Strongsville Scholarship is awarded to Sarah Jane Palaka. Sarah will be attending the Ohio State University and plans to major in dance. She has been very involved at Strongsville High School in orchestra, the dance team, National Honor Society, and Ro Kappa, to name a few. She's also spent uh, eight years with Dance Dimensions, performing company, and in the past four years has become an assistant teacher at Dance Dimensions. She has won many academic awards, and her teachers have used the terms phenomenal student, extremely bright, a genuinely nice person, dedicated and talented to describe her. So Sarah, <laughs> Sarah's mentioned that she has learned the value of preserving the arts and the indescribable way it connects people from all walks of life. And she hopes in the future to create a nonprofit dance company for those less fortunate so they can experience dance and express themselves. Congratulations and best wishes, Sarah, in pursuing your dreams. Our second Arts and Strongsville Scholarship is awarded to Holly Keating. <laughs> Holly will be attending Ohio Wesleyan University and plans to major in zoology and environmental science. She plans on becoming involved with the choir department at the university as well. She's been very involved at the Strongsville High School with our courses and with the music department's cantorum, along with National Honor Society, National Spanish Honor Society, and National Art Honor Society, along with many others. Holly has also taken guitar and vocal lessons and has become an English tutor. She has also received uh, the Academic Achievement Award each year. 
Some of Holly's teachers describe Holly as having a love for everything she does. She is vivacious, talented, and will follow her own instincts within her to create her art. Holly mentioned that she does not excel at everything or even one thing. She is decent at a lot of activities and pretty laughable at others, but she believes that maybe one day she will be extraordinary at something. Well, Holly, I believe with your work ethic, you are and will be extraordinary at many things. So, congratulations. <laughs> And our third and final uh, Arts and Strongsville Scholarship is awarded to Madeline Kreller. <laughs> Madeline will be attending Ashland University and plans on pursuing a dream in commercial art with a focus on graphic design. She has been very involved at Strongsville High School with many art courses and with National Art Honor Society, Spanish and Math Club, and has been a member of the track and field team. Activities outside of the school include Canine Companions for Independence and the Kindness Project from Granger Elementary in Hinckley, Ohio. She has received awards in art, Spanish, and track and field. Some of Madeline's teachers describe her as hardworking, amazing, respectful, humble, and always goes above and beyond, and her artwork is being at the top of the class. Madeline mentioned that although she has um, had academic and athletic successes, art class has always been the place where she is most driven, Creating a project, adding the fine details, and showcasing her work brings her pride. Congratulations and best wishes, Madeline, on a fantastic future. Good evening. I'm Ken McEntee. I'm the president of the Strongsville Rotary Club. And even tonight, I have to wait until my wife stops talking before I can say anything. Uh, the 150 members of the Strongsville Rotary, uh, under the mo motto of Service Above Self, are very proud to uh, be participating and to support the, uh, the students, the children, and the young adults of our community through financial support to their various programs, as well as our volunteer hours. Just, I just want to name a couple of the programs. I'm not going to get into it a lot, but we uh, have an Interact program at the high school that we sponsor. The Interact is basically a, a rotary club for uh, young, young adults. We also are very, uh, very connected to the, to the Connections program at the school, and some of the, uh, some of the scholarships that we will, will be presenting tonight are specifically for those Connections students. And finally, every Friday, I mean, a lot of these faces are very familiar. Every Friday at our weekly meetings, we invite groups of students to come in and join us at our uh, Rotary Big Breakfast Buffet. So nice to see some of you again. And uh, I just, before I introduce Brian, I want to just acknowledge Mike Weber as our foundation, or our scholarship chair. I want to acknowledge all the hard work he did in putting this all together. Uh, I want to introduce Brian Kiplinger. He's the president of the Strongsville Rotary Foundation. Thank you, Ken, and good evening. As Ken mentioned, my name is Brian Kiplinger, uh, current president of the Strongsville Rotary Foundation. Uh, our foundation, just to give you a brief history of our foundation, uh, we formed our foundation in 1994 uh, by way of a $5,000 donation from our Chile Open golf event that we had that year. Uh, I'm sure many of you have heard of our, our fundraiser that we do at the Berea Fairgrounds every year. Our chairman of the Chile Open, Kevin Lynch, is in our presence. Uh, but the whole purpose of forming this 501c3 organization is to have wonderful evenings such as this where we can, we can pass out and congratulate students for uh, scholarships that we're, we're about to award. Uh, but we have done many, many things through our foundation over the years, uh, supported the community with large uh, uh, donations towards a project that we've done. But since inception of our foundation through this month, uh, we have, we have awarded scholarships amounting to $127,000 and have made donations uh, not only to the strongest of the community but to outside and throughout the world uh, amounting to $434,000. So we're very proud of that and we're very pleased to be here this evening. Uh, so without further ado, what Ken and I would like to do is uh, we have, uh, we're awarding 13 scholarships, uh, 12 of which are tonight, uh, totaling uh, $21,000. Uh, and Ken and I are going to split the list in half. Uh, yeah. And these are in alphabetical order. And the first recipient that we're pleased to call up is Julia Faust. 
And Julia is going to receive a $2,000 scholarship. Congratulations. Uh, Julia had a 4.7 GPA here at the high school, and uh, her plans are to go to the University of Pittsburgh and study bioengineering. Uh, thank you, Julia. She's been very involved with Student Council, National Honor Society, Baldwin Wallace University Senior Choral, uh, Community Service, Berea Community Learning Farm, Strongsville Middle School Tutor, uh, the Quanian Center, uh, town, Center of Town Flag Raising and Lowering, to name a few. So congratulations and thank you. Our next recipient, is Haley Hawk, and a $2,000 scholarship is being awarded to her as well. <laughs> Haley is finishing up with a 4.1 GPA. Uh, her plans to attend Ohio University and to study business. And some of her activities while at the high school, the National Honor Society, DECA, Mustang Mentor, Dale Ro Dare Dare Role Model, uh, Captain Academy for Volleyball Cleveland, a volunteer for the Special Olympics, the Relay for Life Tent, and the Strongsville Volleyball Recreation where she was an assistant coach, so congratulations. <laughs> Our next one is Justina Krupa, and Justina will be receiving a $2,000 scholarship as well. Justine earned a 4.4 GPA while here at Strongsville. She plans to attend the University of Cincinnati with a double major in bi biological science and chemistry. And some of her activities are, are the National Honor Society, varsity tennis, dare role model, Mustang mentor, team captain, relay for life, student assistant volunteer at Catholic Parish Church, uh, Cleveland Food Bank volunteer, Southwest Hospital volunteer, and Laura's home volunteer. So congratulations. Our next recipient is Lillian Neal, and Lillian will be receiving a $2,000 scholarship as well. <laughs> Lillian earned a 4.5 GPA. Uh, she's going to be attending Cleveland State University, where she'll be studying biology. Uh, some of her activities here at Strongsville, uh, Math and History Honor Society, Women's Choral, Math and French Clubs, Volunteer Homecoming Sausage Tent, Breakfast at the Bridge, Rib Burnoff, Arts of Strongsville, Chili Open, thank you, uh, and the Historical Society event. So congratulations, Lillian. <laughs> next is Kyle Perasuti. And Kyle is going to be awarded a $2,000 scholarship. Kyle achieved a 4.5 GPA and Kyle is attending either BW or Colorado State or possibly Akron U, uh, where he's going to be studying music education and trumpet performance. Some of Kyle's activities while here at Strongsville and National Honor Society, Boy Scouts of America, Eagle Scout, Cleveland Youth Orchestra, Volunteer, Book Drive, Reach Out, and Read Rainbow's Baby and Children's Hospital, Chili Open Volunteer, again, thank you, performances at Falling Waters Healthcare Center, and teaches music, trumpet, piano, and guitar. So congratulations, Kyle. last recipient that I will award is a read off is Rohan Sinha and Rohan will be receiving a $2,000 scholarship. Rohan had a 4.7 GPA, he's a member of the Interact Club so great. thank you for participating in that. Uh, Case Western Reserve University or Ohio State University. Uh, Case, very good. Uh, where he'll be studying engineering and or business. Okay. Some of the activities that Rohan's involved with was Strongsville High School Interact Club, Math and Social Studies Honor Society, Strongsville Youth Commission, Volunteer at Strongsville K, 5K Race, Door-to-Door uh, -door Food Drive, Tutoring at Strongsville Middle School, and the Duck Race Volunteer for the Rotary Club, thank you, Bone Marrow Drive, and Clothing Drive for the Rotary Club. So thank you very much and congratulations. <laughs> Our next scholarship is uh, one that is dedicated to our Polaris student and a $2,000 scholarship is uh, awarded to Serena Stout. <laughs> Serena graduated with a 4.08 GPA. She's going to Youngstown State University and she's going to major in dental uh, hy hygienistry, right? Okay, she's a student ambassador for the Polaris Career Center, a member of the National Honor Society, 
member of the Technical National Technical Honor Society, the Math Honor Society, captain of the Strongsville Varsity Swim Team, and has had leading roles in the community theater, a coach of the Paralympics and Special Olympics swim team, and a volunteer at St. John Newman. Congratulations. The uh, last several scholarships will be for students in the Connections program. We have a $500 scholarship awarded to Julian, Julian Steva, Stevasic, Stevasic? Help me out when you get up. Stevovic, Stevovic, okay. Julian is a member, uh, he's going to the Cuyahoga Community College and then he plans to go in Ohio State University and uh, major in investment banking, right? All right, congratulations. <laughs> Next we have a $500 scholarship for Kaylee Shuba. Uh, Kaylee is going to the Cuyahoga Community College to major in forensic science, fitness, or maybe business administration. All right, we have a $1,000 scholarship going to Samantha Paoli. <laughs> Samantha plans to go to Cuyahoga Community College and then Eastern Michigan University uh, to major in marketing and general business. We have a $1,000 scholarship going to Abigail Schof. <laughs> Abigail is uh, going to attend Mercyhurst University in Pennsylvania and major in intelligence studies. Did I say your name right, Schof? Congratulations. And our final scholarship this evening is a $2,000 scholarship going to Cameron Bloom. Cameron plans to go to Cuyahoga Community College and then to Ohio University, major in early childhood education and middle school teaching. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Good evening, my name is Allie Ernfeldt and I'm the granddaughter of the late Walter F. Ernfeldt. I am here to give on behalf of the Ernfeldt family the Walter F. Ernfeldt Memorial Scholarships. There are a few things that my grandpa admired in young people and that includes volunteerism, community involvement, a love of Strongsville, a commitment to education, and a desire to make the most of themselves. Our family hopes that these students will always take great pride in Strongsville and throughout their lifetime strive to find ways, no matter how big or small, to help Strongsville continue to be a wonderful place. This year we are awarding two $1,000 scholarships. Please join me in congratulating this year's recipients of the Mayor Walter Alfred Ernfeldt Memorial Scholarships, John Lepowski and Elizabeth Kozarek. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Al Gizzi. I am the uh, president of the Strongsville Kiwanis Club. Kiwanis enjoys ways of finding uh, uh, various opportunities to serve the Strongsville community. For example, we are responsible for the flag display that you'll see around all of our national holidays up at Town Square. Uh, we have sponsors that make a donation of $200 each and we prepare a professional sign give, giving their business some advertising and more importantly sponsoring the flag and we take money from that uh, fundraiser and put it right back into the community like we're doing tonight. It's part of our mission to encourage the young adults to serve others and make volunteer work a habit of their lives. The Strongsville Coatis Club sponsors the Key Club, a service organization here at the high school and we sponsor two Builders Club both service organizations, one at the middle school and another at St. Joseph and John Elementary School. Every spring, we award several $1,500 scholarships to those graduating seniors who have been involved with some of these organizations, if not all of them. 
The Key Club at the high school does extraordinary work, and they do, and these students that will be awarded tonight, besides their involvement here at the high school Key Club, from their applications, we observe that they extend their service far beyond the Swanson community. Our four Ford awardees tonight, and let's get rid of the suspense, our four female recipients tonight, they had as good an application as we've seen in, in the 10 plus years that we've been doing this. Uh, the least one of the four was involved in 35 different volunteer activities throughout her four years in high school. The, the, the other, one of the other four uh, recipients, uh, I stopped counting in the mid 40s, but I don't know how these young ladies, in fact, you'll hear soon how they amassed tremendous academic credentials here at the high school and in addition, found ways and time to serve others. I am proud to introduce to you this year's recipients of the Strongsville Kiwanis Club $1,500 scholarship. In alphabetical order, first, Julia Faust. <laughs> and because the Kiwanis Club believes that the parenting is an important component of this type of young lady. We always introduce the parents of our recipients. Julia is the daughter of Dan and Michelle Faust. While maintaining a GPA of 4.8, she was uh, involved in Key Club here at the high school for four years. In the last two years, her junior year and senior year, that Key Club elected her their president. So, Ms. Faust now is headed for the University of Pittsburgh, and I understand Julia will be, be studying bioengineering or computer engineering. Congratulations. <laughs> she may have a future too in the political administration, maybe. <laughs> Our second recipient, Christina Kerris. Christina. Again, an exorbitant number of volunteer activities. Christina is the daughter of Costas and Nicole Carries. While maintaining her GPA of 4.6, she has been an exemplar member, participating in Key Club activities for all four of her years. Have you decided on your college? The Ohio State will be welcoming her, Strongsville's gift to them this year, and she'll be majoring in biomedical engineering. Congratulations. Our third recipient, Lucia Moppet. <laughs> Lucia is the daughter of Jean Moppet and the late Kevin Moppet. Lucia graduates from Sorazzo with a 3.95 GPA, very, very active all over the place with the high school key club and other volunteer activity. She's headed to Baldwin Wallace. Uh, where she will major in marketing and broadcasting. Congratulations. <laughs> and our final recipient, Kritnika Sandaram. <laughs> Kritnika is the daughter of Sandaram Ram and Aranda Sandaram. She graduates with a 4.7 GPA. Ms. Sundaram was with the Middle School Builders Club back when I was its moderator, and the High School Key Club for five school years. She will be studying biochemistry in a pre-med track at University of Akron. They received one of Swazel's good ones. Congratulations, Kritnika. <laughs> Congratulations to uh, our Kiwanis Club winners and my uh, commendations to the other scholarship winners this evening. Best of luck. Good evening, everyone. My name is Matt Wisenhunt. I am the Youth and Young Adult Director at Strongsville United Methodist Church. I have the privilege of presenting two Chapman Scholarships on behalf of the church tonight. Uh, the Chapmans believed in the difference a good education makes, um, as they themselves were educa educators, excuse me. <clears throat> so at this time, I'm gonna ask that Haley Hawk and Lindsey Gunlaw come forward.
So this scholarship has been given out for over two decades now. So these two are joining a long list of more than worthy recipients. Super proud of them both. And it has been a pleasure to get to know you both over the last six years. So congratulations and best wishes in the future, all right? Have a good one. Good evening, my name is Jennifer Afesh, and I'm here tonight to present the Paul Kirshner Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship was dedicated to the memory of my brother, Paul Christopher Kirshner, who passed away in August of 2000. Paul was known and has been remembered for being an outstanding athlete, but most importantly, for being a caring and amazing individual. Paul loved life, people, and always had a smile on his face. He believed that in order for people to achieve great things, they must enjoy what they're doing. This character shone most brightly on the field of the sport he loved most, soccer. He enjoyed the game to the fullest, played with an intensity rivaled by few, but never without fun. His spirit and determination helped propel Strongsville to the state tournament finals with his game-winning goal. We are honored that his memory lives on through this scholarship and that the recipients exemplify the high standards to which he held himself. With that being said, I'd like to now announce the two, um, two recipients uh, this year of $1,000 scholarships. The first one goes to Samantha Church. And the second scholarship goes to Mitchell Wright. On behalf of the Strongsville Lions Club, I will be presenting the Fritz DeWitt Scholarship for $1,000 to Adriana Collins. At this time, I would like to present the Ohio Association of Public School Employees $500 local scholarship. The recipient of this scholarship carries a 4.4 GPA and attends Strongsville High School. She has been active in the Mu Alpha Theta, Theta Math Honor Society, Medical Careers Club, DECA, Key Club, Math Club, Freshman Basketball, JV Basketball, and the Italian Club, which I didn't even know we had. She was a national qualifier for DECA state competition in 2017, state qualifier for DECA district competition in 2016, received the Scholastic Recognition Award from 2013 through 2016. She also received awards for excelling in mathematics in 2015, varsity letter in academics in 2015, and was a state qualifier from the STEM competition in 2014. I am pleased to announce the recipient of the OPSI Scholarship, Morgan Pinzone. I'm back. You're going to see a lot of me. All right, so now I am going to present the Ronald McDonald House Charities of Northeastern Ohio Incorporation Scholarship Program. The Ronald McDonald House Charities of Northeastern Ohio Scholarship Program seeks to invest in students who are exemplary role models in their communities and have the initiative to fulfill their educational pursuits. There are a number of factors considered when a student applies for an RMHC scholarship, including academic achievement, financial need, community involvement, and answers to essay questions. The goal of the RMHC scholarship program is simple to identify and invest in future leaders. I would like to recognize and congratulate, congratulate three graduating seniors, Kritika Sundaram, Maria Viscomi, and Rubab Sayed. Each scholarship is in the amount of $1,000.
Good evening. My name is Marty Felder, and I'm here on behalf of Hudak Dental. I'm very proud to be part of the Strongzo community and to be part of a company that believes in giving back to its community and investing in its future. This year alone, we will be presenting over $20,000 in scholarships to 20 high schools within the Cleveland area. Um, please join me in congratulating Strongsville's recipient this year, Jenny Lynn Litton. Good evening. My name is Carly Kotlin, and I'm here on behalf of the Strongsville High School class of 2007. We are here today to give away eight scholarships um, for $500 each to um, commemorate our 10-year reunion this year. Um, these scholarships are all perseverance scholarships, which means that every single recipient here has had a hardship of some kind and have persevered through their hardship. These are all given away in memorial of the eight students who have passed away in our class over the past 10 years. And um, we have multiple people um, speaking here. The way that these scholarships were nominated was that a member of the faculty of Strongsville High School had to nominate a student. And from those nominations, the students were told that they were nominated and then had to write an essay. From the essays, we chose eight um, for $500. And although it's not a lot of money, I think $4,000 for 27 to 28 year old young adults is um, a pretty good achievement. So these are not gonna go in order. Um, and I will pass the mic on to um, Mr. and Mrs. Garcia. This scholarship is in honor of my son who died last year of kidney failure. Uh, during his illness, he was very helpful to others. There were others that did not know he was ill and was dying, yet he was able to give them lots of support and almost like a counselor. Normally he was a friendly, easygoing guy, um, very creative and very artistic. In any case, this award goes to Sujitha Garamuka. Hello. <clears throat> Step back for a second. Okay. My name is Johnny Caputo. I'm a graduating member of the class of 2007, so it's weird being back here after. 10 years. Um, it's an honor to be here tonight celebrating the class of 2017 while also remembering those we've lost from the class of 2007. Um, it's interesting being here at an award ceremony because, uh, you know, obviously you're going to hear this time graduation, all kinds of graduation pieces, things like that. Um, but I think tonight we're going to talk about, again, that challenges that have sort of lied in the past for our students and also challenges that uh, will be in the future. Um, and I think you'll see that the students we're talking about tonight have met those challenges in their life already with perseverance and persistence. And it's something that they're gonna be able to use those skills moving forward um, with that same sort of tenacity to, to approach whatever challenges that life continues to throw at them. Um, like Carly said, these scholarships tonight are all about um, memorializing rather students that we've lost from our class, our uh, fellow graduating class members. I think it's something to note that while all these um, scholarships are about people and people that we've lost, um, and the, the lesson that you learn from someone, losing someone can never replace that person. We can always learn lessons to sort of cement their legacies and keep those legacies intact. And I think that's what our, our scholarships here from the class of 20, 2007 are about tonight. Um, so it's my honor to present two scholarships for two of my good friends. Um, one is the, the Eric Kim Perseverance Scholarship. Uh, and Eric's legacy, he was, uh, he was someone who was all about healing. He was always laughing, always trying to make people laugh. And I have very few memories in which, uh, with Eric in which I'm not laughing. Uh, in fact, the, the weekend before he died, we were on our way to school. Uh, it was just like a typical Friday morning driving to school. And we were walking through this muddy field in the back over there. And Eric was wearing a white sweatshirt, of course. And as we're walking through, we're late to class. We're trying to rush to pre-calc so we don't get a, you know, a detention for being late. 
and his white sweatshirt's just getting tore up with all this mud that's coming up on it. And the entire time, Eric is swearing, yes, but also laughing through the entire thing. And I think that's one thing that we again, can take away from, from Eric and his life is that laughter is a way to sort of get through whatever is gonna be thrown at you. Uh, he had a way of turning a joke, of smiling, of laughing that was simply infectious. And I remember more than a few nights after bad days at school or whatever, that Eric simply revived with just the sound of his laughter. Um, and our recipient of the Eric Kim Perseverance Scholarship embodies those same uh, traits. Uh, she has struggled on through her own illness and has shown tenacity to pick her way through the muddy field of life. She will attend college in this fall in her pursuit to become a doctor and a healer in her own right. It's my pleasure to present the Eric Kim Perseverance Scholarship to Justina Krupa. The second scholarship I'm honored to award tonight is in memory of my good friend Jack Lichtenberg. Um, talking about legacies, uh, I think the one that, again, we can take away from Jack's life is that life is here, it's now, so you better get to it because it's going to come and it's going to be fast. Um, I've never known anyone in my life that lived as fully and with more daring, it's the only word I can think of, than Jack did. Um, whether that meant rock climbing, 40, 50 foot cliffs without a rope, or borrowing a neighbor's boat for a quick trip around the lake, there wasn't much that Jack was afraid to do. He was one of those inspiring people who lived their lives so honestly and so authentically that simply being in his presence made you constantly ask yourself, what do I want out of my life? And what sorts of ridiculous things am I willing to do in order to make that life a reality? What is my next step? Often Jack and I would go rock climbing in the Cuyahoga Valley National Park, again, as 18, 19 year old kids, 40, 50 foot cliffs, no ropes, we were dumb. Um, and when you're climbing stuff like this, you're not always sure where the next handhold's gonna be. It's kind of blind, you go climb a lot of times. Um, the path to the top is often obscure. And, but we always found a way up, and I always made sure that Jack went first. He was always leading because I was terrified to go in front. And uh, one time, it was the only time I fell, I did fell and uh, fall and hurt my ankle pretty bad. But when I did, Jack was there, picked me up, almost literally carried me the half mile back to the car. Um, but on that way, he uh, was always there again, reaching for that next handhold, even when he couldn't see what was going on. Uh, and the recipient of the Jack L. Pers Jack Lichtenberg Perseverance Scholarship has preferred through, persevered rather, through legal blindness in his life, always finding that next step, even when it wasn't clear. Uh, he's shown remarkable resolve to achieve through his obstacles and will attend Tri-C this fall to study history. It's my pleasure and honor to award the Jack Lichtenberg Memorial Scholarship to Joshua Fole. My turn. Um, the first one I'm going to present is the Mike Petruska um, Class of 2007 Perseverance Scholarship. I went to elementary school with Mike. Uh, he was always laughing, always smiling, quiet, but he was just a great all-around guy. Um, the recipient of the Mike Petruska Class of 2007 Perseverance Scholarship is Faith Patton. The second uh, scholarship that I'm going to present is the Ryan Payne Class of 2007 Perseverance Scholarship. Ryan Payne was one of the most brave humans I've ever met in my life. He turned out to be a radiologist um, and passed away in, while doing his job. This scholarship is presented to Rachel Dorakak. The third scholarship I'm going to present is the Liz Haberman Class of 2007 Perseverance Scholarship. I went to Center Middle School with Liz Haberman and she was always the life of the party, which I'm sure everyone in here knows one of those people. Um, the person receiving the Liz Haberman Class of 2007 Perseverance Scholarship is Savannah Baum.
The fourth scholarship is the Zach Lovett Class of 2007 Perseverance Scholarship. This scholarship, uh, the essay for the person of this receiving this scholarship was amazing. He had a quote in there um, that I don't know if I can read, but I'm going to read it to you anyways. It said, life's a gamble. We're all dealt a hand, some great and some terrible, but all of us must live by the cards we have. Um, I wrote that quote down and put it on my wall so that I look at it every day. The person receiving this scholarship is Cullen Redmond. <laughs> last but not least, um, the last scholarship I'm going to present is the Cameron Cotland 2007, <sighs> class of 2007 Perseverance Scholarship. Uh, Cameron Cotlin was my twin brother, and he passed away almost two years ago. And when I read the essay for this person's scholarship, it basically described the last two years of my life. And um, Cameron was one of the kindest human beings. I probably would not be here today if it wasn't for him and doing every single thing that I can possibly do. Um, so the person receiving the Cameron Cotlin Class of 2007 Perseverance Scholarship is Desiree Munguia. Oh, side note, um, can all eight kids please meet with us after um, so we can get a picture to show all of our other alumni. Captain Pat McKenna. Uh, first, I'd like to thank Mr. Smithberger and Colonel Duke Evans for having me. I'd just like to point out that there's a, an alternate reality out there somewhere where every military aviator has the name Duke. <laughs> I appreciate the opportunity for an over the hill C 130 navigator to speak about the world's greatest air force. <clears throat> Mr. Keating knows how hard it was to get into the Air Force Academy. Some of you may not, so I'd just like to point out some statistics. There were over 25,000 applicants to the United States Air Force Academy. 1,200 got in. I don't know what that percentage is, but you've got to be pretty sharp to get in here. So it's my pleasure to award an appointment to the United States Air Force Academy to Mr. Jimmy Keating. One more thing I'd like to point out is that Mr. Keating's scholarship is worth over $400,000. <clears throat> So what that means is, in effect, we taxpayers have a tremendous level of confidence in you. <laughs> so I'd like to put three things in your charge, Mr. Keating. Stay focused, stay hungry, and go out there and win. I'm Colonel Joe McCluskey, the recruiting officer at John Carroll University's Army ROTC Battalion here in Cleveland. I'm here tonight to present a scholarship to another one of the graduating members of the class. Although they're not going to an academy, they are getting a full two-year scholarship to earn a commission at a military junior college. It's a special kind of scholarship because it's just two years, and then the student will get an associate's degree and then also commission early and then they have to go on for two more years at a four-year school to earn a bachelor's degree in order before they start serving in the army as a commissioned officer. Uh, it's a full tuition scholarship, covers all extra fees, uh, 
gives the student $1,200 a year for books, and between uh, $350 and $450 a month stipend, so they can concentrate on their studies instead of worrying about pocket money and getting a part-time job. It's our, like the captain pointed out, for the academy, it's our taxpayers' dollars that we're going to pay for this young man to get his, scholar, his degree, as well as uh, paying for the scholarship. And then they'll re he'll repay us by serving as a commissioned officer in the United States Army after he finishes his degree studies. Without further ado, I'd like to ask Mark Pollock to come forward. I've got some things to do. As a measure of the confidence we have in him for future potential and service and great things, we're going to pay $33,000 for him to go to New Mexico uh, Military Institute for two years. Hello, I'm Nancy Doubt with the American Legion Auxiliary in Bray, Ohio with Post 91. The recipient of our $500 scholarship is also a member of our American Legion Auxiliary, and she has been for the majority of her life. I am pleased to present our scholarship to Maria Viscomi. We are very proud of Maria's academic achievements and her enrollment already in Case Western Reserve University. And we're also proud of her volunteerism in the community and all the work she's done with our veterans and the children and youth of our American Legion. Congratulations, Maria. And last but not least, I'm here to present three $500 scholarships for the Coca-Cola Scholarship. Brayton Ryder III. Colin Kern. And Kelly DeSanza. Students, once again, congratulations. We are so proud of your efforts, and certainly you have earned this uh, tremendous opportunity to get these scholarships. One more round of applause for our students tonight. Thank you again for being here this evening. Get up your evening. I know it's a busy time of year, so we appreciate uh, everyone for being here tonight. And I want to make sure we say one more thank you to all of our presenters and the organizations for their scholarships. Thank you so much. Thank you to our lights and sound people in the booth for doing a great job for us tonight. As we're leaving this evening, we have refreshments in the cafeteria. Please stay and join us for some, some, uh, some fellowship and refreshments. And finally, parents, in closing, you are more than welcome to take pictures of your, your son or daughter. I don't care what they say. It's your night as well. Get the camera out. Get up on stage. Do what you want. Uh, thank you for being here. Once again, congratulations, students. Have a great night. <laughs>